Well, we're encouraging everyone to learn compression-only CPR this week and hopefully giving you remarkable examples about why it matters. News 3's Sarah Carlson joins us now with the story of a family taking their history a little more seriously these days. Sarah. Yeah, to say the least, Eric and Susan, Bud Henrich had been warned for years that he had a serious risk of heart disease with his family history, and he ignored the fact that he had high cholesterol. That is, until the morning of February 28th, when his daughter Robin's instincts saved him. I was downstairs, and my mom had called me upstairs, and I could tell like, by the tone of her voice that it was bad. Robin was about to find her dad struggling to stay alive. I ran upstairs, and it was very clear that my dad had gone into a cardiac arrest. He was laying in the chair. You know, his face was already purple. It was scary. Scary, but something in Robin took over. I basically just ran over to him, jumped on top of him. Right away, her mom called 911. We got him onto the floor, and I just started doing compressions right away. Robin says she just knew. It was right away when I saw him, I'm like, I gotta, I gotta start. I gotta start doing compressions right away. She's taken CPR training every year as a preschool teacher. Never used it, but knew what to do. Basically, I just kept counting. I just kept counting. That's really, that's all I can tell you that I was thinking. Adrenaline kept Robin's arms and hands moving. He didn't have a heartbeat by the time the, the police got here yet, um, but they had gotten here within a matter of three, four minutes after my mom had yelled downstairs. At St. Mary's, they put Bud into a coma for three days before he woke up. I don't remember anything about that day. But he does remember why he's here. A week later, Bud survived quintuple bypass surgery, and doctors say Bud has his daughter to thank. Get saved like I did right. from my daughter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look what I got back. I mean, it's been two months since my dad's heart attack, and I have two more months hopefully many more years with my dad. My children have two more months already with their grandpa. And News 3 is committed to teaching more people how to save a life. It is easy. Wednesday, trained members of our staff, including myself, will be helping lead training sessions at 16 locations in 10 different communities now. You can learn compression-only CPR in Baraboo, Columbus, Cottage Grove, Dodgeville, and Edgerton. We also have sites in Madison, several of them, and training in Middleton and Oregon, Stoughton, and Sun Prairie. For a complete list of all these training sites and times, and there are countless, please watch Gary's forecast, because it'll be ticked at the bottom or you can head to channel3000.com and click on the hands on hearts logo really it is an easy thing to learn and obviously so worth it doesn't take long either mm -hmm. sarah carlson reporting sarah thank you very much yep. for sharing that story thanks sarah